Clinton County looking at another way to uh, at another specialty court. This one would focus on mental health. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker shows us why county officials believe there is a need for a court and where that process stands. But if we're going to hear people are suffering in our part of the criminal system, uh, I think we need to recognize that maybe there's other ways that we can help address that. Judge Thomas Smith is the Benton County Circuit Judge for Division Three. He presides over all juvenile cases as well as the veterans and drug courts. Smith says both programs have been successful, with more than 1,100 people graduating from drug court since 2001. I think we all agree not just locking everybody up is the way to go. Uh, sometimes it's necessary, but sometimes if we can get people uh, to have a productive life as part of the community, without that, uh, we want to do that. And that's why Smith supports the addition of a mental health court in Benton County, which if approved, he would oversee. If this is an option and a tool that uh, the prosecutors and the lawyers can use to alleviate that, then we're all for it. I mean, I think there's a need. Will it fix all of our issues? Obviously no. Uh, but do we hear more and more that maybe it'll help? Yes. And that's kind of why we're looking into what's available to start one up. According to Smith, a mental health court could help with the overcrowding at the Benton County Jail. And obviously people suffering from mental health are, uh, are a person that we definitely want to try to help if we can. The Benton County Quorum Court has approved the resolution to allow the grant application process to start in order to secure funding. Specialty Court Coordinator Michelle Barrett is working with UAMS to write the grant that is due next week. This particular grant would be for three years. We would get $100,000 for the first year as part of the implementation. And then for the next two years, we would get $225,000 per year to continue the project and then give us time to find long-term sustainability. Benton County officials say they should know by September if they receive the funding. If they do, Judge Smith wants to have the court up and running sometime in 2024. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Right now, Sebastian and Crawford County is the only two counties in our area with a mental health court.